Hey everyone, I want your view of this story because Ryan Lochte, Jimmy Fijian, Jack Conger, and Gunnar Bence of the U.S. men's swim team went out Saturday night to a place called Club France, Polygou Francais, you know, have a good time. And they left somewhere around what, 3 or 4 in the morning. And along the way back to the Olympic Village, they took a cab and the cab stopped. And when it stopped, they stopped to use the bathroom at this gas station, allegedly. And when they did, they said they came out, the cab didn't move. And that's when these people dressed as police, Brazilian police, held them up at gunpoint, had them face down on the ground, and robbed them, taking their wallets. So the very next day, the headline in on social media is, hey, these guys were held up, right? Lochte robbed, right? And then on Monday morning on the Today Show, Lochte told Billy Bush that he was not only held up, but the gun was pointed to his forehead as if, you know, hey, give me your money, I'm going to kill you, right? So there's the story. My question is, why would anyone want to make up a story like that? I mean, what's to be gained by making up a story about being robbed? I mean, if this turns out not to be true, how we got there will be extraordinary. But I'm saying this, I don't for one moment believe that these guys were not robbed. I believe they were. If you go to Google or any other search engine, but Google is the one used by most, most of us, right? And do a search under these words, Rio robbed tourist, okay? Or Rio tourist robberies, and then click on the news section and you will find story after story after story posted during the time of the Olympics and also just before the Olympics where, that's right, robberies were happening. And during the Olympics, stories of pickpocketers being caught by authorities or being outed by citizens, other stories of robberies having, quote, a field day, unquote. I'm not making this up. So if you're an Olympic tourist, and you're having all these problems, you're complaining about this to the press, and this is all over the place, then you would have to think that the Brazilian producers of the Olympics are absolutely freaking out over their horrible reputation, horrible, historically horrible reputation that they have crafted for themselves and is being communicated through traditional media and especially social media. And here comes Ryan Lochte getting on television and blowing up this story about being held up at gunpoint by these fake police robbers. They sounded the alarm bell, they being the, the Brazilians, and said, enough's enough. We're going to craft this story because these guys were drunk. And because they were drunk, we know they are going to have conflicting accounts to this story, right? And then they claim to pull this tape which showed them having all of their belongings. Well, how do we know they had all their belongings? Because the Daily Mail said so, and the people providing the tape said, oh, they're all there, but the belongings were there? Think about it. Their wallets were stolen. You have two forms of ID if you travel internationally. You have your passport and your wallet, right? Someone steals your wallet, you still have a passport, you can travel. You're fine. With the International, excuse me, United States Olympic Committee, when you need extra money, they front you some money, you're fine. You're taken care of. I said it before, I'll say it again, they should have been chaperoned, but that's beside the point now. That didn't happen. But the bottom line is, why would he lie? Why would they lie? So Rock, Lochte gets on a plane, takes off, he's back in the United States. But all the other swimmers you've got, Jack Conjurer is pulled off a plane. Gunnar Benz, I believe, was pulled off a plane. Friedgen, they can't find him. They don't know where he's at. That's free. That's scary. I've got to check his Twitter account, see if he's given an update. That's ridiculous. I mean, the bottom line is, okay, I said it doesn't matter now. It does matter. Our Olympic athletes should have been chaperoned. My mom said it before 
I even thought about it. When she first heard about the robbery story, the first words out of my mom's mouth, my mom is 81, said, why aren't they chaperoned? Great question, mom. Does anyone have an answer? I don't know. I don't believe for one moment that this robbery story was fake. I'm holding to that. I'm trusting Lochte and our American swimming heroes till the bitter end. And I certainly hope there is not a bitter end.